You know, out of all the photo gear and accessories that we love to carry all over the place with us for landscape photography, whether you're in and out of hotels or airports or train stations or you're up mountains or down mountains, we're all trying to figure out ways to carry a little bit less weight, carry a little bit less stuff with us. And generally speaking, I think we're all carrying the same four heaviest items. So things like your camera bodies, your camera lenses, your tripods, your laptops. Those are usually the four heaviest items that you carry for landscape photography. But what's interesting about that list is really only three of those items are considered like mission critical items, must have items to bring. So of course, you, you gotta have a camera body. You gotta have a lens to put on your camera. You gotta have a tripod that you can put your camera and lens on top of. But you don't need a laptop. You don't need a laptop computer to create a landscape photo. So why are we bringing it everywhere with us? I mean, I bring mine on literally every trip I go on, whether I'm staying in a hotel or I'm camping in a tent or I'm staying for one night or I'm staying for 10 nights, this laptop comes with me. And the craziest part is this is by far the heaviest item that I own. This is by far the heaviest item that I bring along with me and it has no direct correlation to creating a photograph, but yet I bring it everywhere I go. And I only use it for one thing. I don't answer emails on my laptop when I'm traveling usually. I don't watch YouTube or watch videos or surf the web. I do all that on my phone. The only reason I bring my giant laptop with me is so that I can get the photos from this tiny SD card and back them up on this tiny backup drive. But the only way I can get these two items to communicate with one another is by putting this giant laptop computer in between them. These two things are worthless without the laptop between them, which is crazy to me because I mean, it's, it's 2019. I know there's better solutions out there than that. And that's why I'm so excited about the topic of this week's video, which is to discuss the newly announced Narbox 2.0. Now, this is the successor to the wildly successful original Narbox. And if you're not familiar with what this is, this is a super rugged, dust resistant, water resistant, shock proof. I mean, you could probably throw this thing off a building. I wouldn't do it, but it probably would survive it. But it's a on the go solution to back up your, your photos, your videos for anybody who doesn't want to bring a laptop with them, which would be me. So, I mean, you could literally be in the middle of Antarctica on an iceberg and back up your photo and your video without a laptop. You could be summiting Mount Everest and you could back up your photo and video without bringing a laptop with you. You can go anywhere in the world. You don't need this laptop and you could do it all with this drive. Now, when they announced their, their Kickstarter, um, uh, funding program, I think they had an initial goal of $75,000. And this is crazy. In the first 39 minutes, they blew past that $75,000. And as of last month, September of 2019, they had raised over $900,000 for Narbox 2.0. So that just goes to show there's a lot of demand for this product out there. So how does it work? So you can be literally on location with your camera still on your tripod. Take your SD card out of your camera, open up this door where you have your ports. You have a, a micro HDMI port, you have your SD card reader, and you also have a USB-C port here. So you can take your SD card, you can put it directly inside of here, and then within just a couple buttons, it'll go ahead and back up everything that's on that SD card. It'll show you exactly how far the, the progress is. It'll show you exactly, you know, how much longer until it is going to be backed up, what percentage wise. And what's really cool is it actually has something that's called, um, I think it's called a checksum. And what happens is, is after it's backed up, it'll go through this verification process and it'll read all the, the, the photos or the video footage that you put on to confirm that everything was backed up appropri appropriately. And then once it's complete, it'll give you that verification notification letting you know that all is good, everything is backed up, which is huge for, for me and any of the other pessimists out there that are always thinking that things are gonna go wrong. I really need that kind of verification that says everything was done appropriately. So that was is absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Now, if Narbox stopped right there, and said, here's the product, I hope you enjoy it. I would be all in and I would absolutely get one. But they actually took it a step further and they created this kind of um, kind of like a, an ecosystem of mobile apps that work in conjunction with Narbox. So you download these apps, there's two apps. One of them is called SafeKeep, one is, the other one is called Selects. Now you can download them onto your iPad or your tablet or your iPhone. And what happens is there's actually a Wi-Fi signal built into your Narbox and you can link it up to your phone or your tablet. 
So you don't have to be somewhere where there's cell signals. So I mean, you could be on that that um, iceberg in Antarctica, or you could be somebody Mount Everest where there's no cell signal and still do this. So what the um, what the SafeKeep app is, it's an app that's dedicated to uh, file management. So it kind of, it'll tell you, you know, how much available space you have on your NAR box, um, how much space have you used? And perhaps my favorite aspect is it allows you to create custom folders, which will translate to your NAR box. So I created three folders, one for each of my cameras. I have a folder titled Sony A7R2, another folder titled Fuji X-T3, and a third folder titled DJI Osmo Pocket. And then whenever I'm backing up any footage from those corresponding cameras, I just select the folder that pops up in this handy little display here, and I organize all my footage that way and my photos that way. I like that just because you don't have to dump everything into one giant folder and kind of have to sift through it all at a later point. So that SafeKeep app is super handy. And then the Select Selects app works the same way. This was built for photographers. It links up to your phone or tablet via Wi-Fi and it enables you to look through what you have backed up. So if you backed up footage from a shoot that you did earlier that evening and you're sitting in your tent or your hotel room or wherever, you can actually look through all the photos or video using that Selects app on your phone. And you can actually start to um, rate the photos as well. So you can say which ones are like one stars and two stars. You could pick out your favorites and five star those. Just that way you're a little bit more organized when you do go to edit your photos or video, you'll be that much more uh, more prepared. Now, if Narbox stopped right there and said, you know, here's the product, I hope you enjoy it, I would be all on board and I think most people would be too. But they actually took it a step even further. And this is huge here. They actually made it to where Narbox will integrate with Adobe Lightroom, with Premiere, with uh, Dropbox, LumaFusion. So you can actually edit your photos on your tablet or your iPhone, so you can actually pull them off of your NAR box and edit the raw fo footage directly on Lightroom CC on your mobile device, which is huge. So you literally have no reason to need to bring your laptop for anything. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. I think that was um, great forward thinking by Narbox to have that integration really built in. It makes the seamless transfer of footage that much easier to those designated programs. So that's really cool. Now, as far as the hardware goes, I mentioned it's a super durable product. It uh, actually has a removable drive right here, which you can take out. And I think it's rated a three to six hours of continuous use. But I mean, if you were somewhere off the grid for a long time and you knew you were gonna need to back stuff up that would require more than three to six hours of use, they sell additional batteries that you could bring with you and just pop in a new one. So that's pretty cool that they um, added that as a, a, a feature to be able to have external batteries or additional batteries uh, to be able to, that you could add into this. And that's pretty neat. Um, it comes in three different configurations. So there is a 256 gigabyte version for $499. There is a 512 gigabyte version for $599. And then a one terabyte version for $899. I know that's substantially more expensive than your standard, you know, Lacy drives, but this is literally just a backup drive. It is worthless by itself. You have to have a computer or things to connect to this to really make this work. Whereas this Narbox is more in line with the computer by itself. So there, you're definitely getting a lot more for this. And plus, with this, I no longer have to bring my laptop. I don't have to bring my drives. I don't have to bring this cord. I don't have to bring this dongle to attach the cord to to my computer because nothing fits MacBooks anymore. And I have no idea how much this weighs, but it weighs a ton. And I no longer would have to bring any of this, whoops, any of this stuff with me. It all is replaced by just this tiny device, which weighs less than a pound. So that's huge. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of, uh, this NAR box right here. So it's the first one I've ever owned. I did not own the original version, but I am super excited to say that I have, uh, uh, I own this one now. So this is fantastic. I got a trip coming up next week into the coast and I'm headed to Oregon in a couple weeks and I just can't wait to, to use this even more. I think it's gonna greatly not only reduce the amount of stuff that I carry with me on trips, but it's also most importantly going to uh, reduce the amount of weight and also kind of speed up my, uh, my overall workflow. Uh, when I'm traveling. So I'm really excited about that. So I hope you were able to get some information out of this week's video. If, uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave those in the comment section below and I guarantee I will get back in touch with you. And I'll leave the link to a Narbox website in the description below if you wanna get additional information from that, you definitely can. 
And uh, if you enjoyed this week's video, if you could give it that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And as always, I really do appreciate you watching this week's video and I'll see you next week. Bye.